Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about how to connect a PS3 or PS4 controller to your PC. Now obviously you'll need your PS3 or PS4 controller. You'll also need your micro USB or mini USB, depending on which controller you're going with, to connect to the PC. Now, I do believe this also works with a USB Bluetooth dongle, but I haven't tried it personally. Therefore, I cannot guarantee it will work, but obviously give it a try and see what happens. Now, first thing you're going to need is you're going to need Microsoft.NET 4. This is a package distributed by Microsoft and it comes with Windows 8 upwards, and I believe you'll have to download it for Windows 7. You'll also need the Xbox 360 controller drivers, which can be found simply by typing Xbox 360 controller drivers into Google. And then choose your relevant operating system, in my case I'm using Windows 8, and 64-bit, so Windows 7 is the closest one, so I'll use that one. Now, once that's downloaded, you'll want to extract and run the application you've just downloaded, and install it. What you'll want to do after that is you'll want to find the SCP DS3 package, which can be found again by typing into Google. I'll also put links below for you in the description. And you want to download the latest version. In this case, it's 1.20.160. You download that, that's 10 megabytes or such. It will take a little bit of time depending on your connection. What you're going to want to do now is plug in your PlayStation 3 or 4 controller, in this case I'm using PlayStation 3, and let the default drivers install. Now what you want to do now, after doing that, is open the zip file we just downloaded, containing the SCP, and you'll want to go into the bin folder and copy that to your C drive. Now once that's extracted to your C drive, you'll want to go to your C drive, open the bin folder, and you'll want to run the application is called CSP Driver. Now you'll come up with a box saying CSP Driver Installation. You'll want to click Install, and if it asks you for uh, to signet sign the drivers, click Yes, and that should install all the drivers that you need to run. Now for testing purposes, what we're going to do is we're going to go into Device Manager and we're going to see that PlayStation 3 or 4 controller is installed and you'll see an Xbox 360 controller for Windows. And now if you carry on watching the video, you'll see that I'm able to move the control sticks and the buttons on the controller and it's represented in the advanced configuration for the controllers. Thank you very much for watching. As always, if you've got any comments or likes, please, please do do that. And if you want to subscribe, obviously, always welcome.